right, welcome Fifi Manfred Sunny, and then you may we bring you the best of tactical analysis of ours and Fifi Manfred on YouTube, of course. If you've not subscribed to the channel, yeah, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification in the notification turn and make sure that you choose all. It is very, very, very imperative that you choose all so that consistently, anytime that there is content here, you are first to get it here on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Don't ever renege on that. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notification. In the notification tenant do choose all so that anytime that there is an update you get it on vv manfred on youtube this evening a lot of the updates have come through from all the clubs and i know any of them will have on vv manfred on youtube you to stick and stay and um, enjoy analysis now i say of course and i know past slips now you did two more has on vv manfred on youtube on the various i mean facebook on twitter and other than that hold on no. i mean we've done two of the slips and they are going through very well i think one of them uh, just three more games to go. The uh, new European games, the Penaka, for everything to go through. Uh, CET. Of course, I bring you all the analysis of us uh, on YouTube. Um, enjoy. And then, you will remove your steel. Of course, usually we talk about the major clubs Chelsea, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United. Man City, AC Milan, Inter, all of the teams in Europe, they didn't come out on FIFA Manfred on YouTube. But this more this evening, let me start with this. There is a data set here. And that data set suggests something very, very critical in the Chelsea conversation. And it's a data set of this season. Strikers on more ball striking and improving part this season. Now, again, from who's called who.com. Another metric of that shows the quality of strike of ball striking this season of our brand here friend Nicholas Jackson. Now, in my last video, no, my last two videos are upon me. Can I say? One of the things that will probably take Chelsea to the pinnacle of maybe on person who drew hey, the box presence of a striker. Now, now when I say the box presence of a striker, I'm talking about the profile of striker. So I mentioned Samuel Maradion. I mentioned a bright friend of Victor Osimhen. Now somebody came into the comment section. And I'm about to remind them, Mr. Fifi, a brand season is starting in the summer. No? Who can say Chelsea ain't here striker? That is true. Me can say Chelsea ain't here striker. And I meant that essentially. Not in Kofu especially those who are non Chelsea fans, are not on analyzing Chelsea. You know. They said that Chelsea's problem last season was goal scoring. Chelsea's problem last season wasn't goal scoring. Chelsea's problem was not going to be solved just because Uru threw a striker into the team. No. Chelsea needed a proper tactical structure that would prevent them from conceding a lot of goals. And I made a lot of examples, and I make a say, Say, what's your Chelsea game and last season, Cobra away at Sheffield United? Chelsea were leading by a goal to zero. Well, sure one goal. Sometimes you don't score too much, but you need to be able to consolidate with games, you know. Now, in the end, that in the best of the game, Mauricio Pochettino throws in a right friend Bernard Bellashiri to come and defend that ball. Then ends up considering at the last minute. You don't need a striker to do that. Into, maybe people don't understand. One of the reasons why I kept on saying, who in your striker? Or Chelsea in your striker in the summer was because at the time, Chelsea's problem essentially was about making sure that they don't concede too much as the season goes on you understand now the season goes on you look at the metric that is there nicolas jackson has improved and i kept on saying he said this season say kuopama said the number of goals or share last season say nicolas jackson ain't improving the goal scoring now we know in kukumo we know the other place that she should go say pedro neto noni madoke she should go be in the fringes up chelsea don't particularly need a striker say change 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 chelsea near striker but in all of that, it was also in the context of Chelsea's benchmark and what the target was. The target was top four. In getting into top four, Chelsea don't need a striker. But of course, sometimes in the big games, anything I mean, I don't worry too much. Say, team no ain't me share in the big game. Sometimes in the big games, you need the difference maker in the box. And sometimes it's the big box presence. It's the big profile. The aggressive center forwarder. Or heckle center back, so we create a chance out of nothing, and it make things work for you or boxing. And that's those are some of the things that maybe, like I did mention earlier in an, an open broadcast, I said, who share the cross ability of Pedro Neto, who share how good he is in the house space crosses, not any sunny manner. Maybe that's something that Chelsea will have to look at going forward, but then essentially it goes beyond just that, just throwing a striker into the team and more than that. Now, this is the who's called who dot com metric number by now was the most xg per shot in the premier league this season that is with 20 plus shots this season only what can security xg per shot said on your chance now are they able to create separation and get a shot on goal and now only what is the release our charge you know 
with 0.28 El Horan. Then Nicholas Jackson is second in that regard, 0.25. It means that for every, is it, is it one fourth or so? Yeah, I think 0 0.25 is one fourth. Yeah, because of course, four times 25 and 100. So yeah, 0 0.25 is one fourth. So every one fourth of um, a chance, I've run to your friend Nicholas Jackson, Ebignano. every chance in Nicholas Jackson, Ebignano, there is one out of one fourth out of the whole, you know, Nicholas Jackson is able to create the separation and then get a shot out going. That's the quality that you are talking about. If you compare that to last season, uh, not our average is somewhere around 1.08 or so, not even less than one. Uh, it was worrying. Oh, now this time, this player has been quality. We're improving in that regard. And if he keeps on increasing this metric going further, it means our branch of Nicholas Jackson may create more quality chances, may get onto the end of more chances. And his conversion rate may also improve as compared to last season, which is very, very important. And if you look at Nicholas Jackson, the only thing that he probably doesn't have is that box presence. No, say if you do maybe not Chelsea, a Muse teams now are very compact air then for them to break them down. So then they spam in a lot of courses. And Man City do that a lot. When they are playing against team that's difficult for them to create chances by cutting through them centrally. One of the things City does is that they spam a lot of crosses to Ellen Holland or to the far post to Kevin De Bruyne to Rodrigo Ascante. So they are do, of course, head the ball and then get a goal in that regard. You've seen it with Josco Valde all the more in recent times when they went away to move up to Wonder. So that's very, very important something to get. And I think that it's the next step of Chelsea's squad building process for them to get better. On the same list, I'm going to have any Dominique Solanke, and you're part of the list, also 0 0.25. Chris Wood, our last month, we got the Premier League player of the month, that was 0 0.24. Mohamed Salah, that was 0 0.21. Of course, I've said it several times, so Mo Salah here, he is one of the best in terms of creating a separation from an XG, creating XG out of nothing. Mohamed Salah is one of the best that you can get in that regard. So everything seems to be pointing in a positive direction for Chelsea in that regard. So, team up. Onya, the striker, any a lot of separation, no shit goes no harm. It's very, very important in that. Of course, all through Europe this season, and even, of course, in the La Liga team, or what the best shot conversion rate, obviously, any Robert Lewandowski, any Lamin Yamal, any Brent FN, Rafinha, or the Barcelona side, you know, they have a shot conversion rate of 18.5%, Chelta Vigo, 13.9%, also, Hordum, all of these teams have a very, very good shot conversion rate in that regard. Over there, these are all quality, quality play. The only bad metric at the net, you move your air bunch of and Robert Sanchez. Robert Sanchez, Chelsea have given away more penalties than any other team in the NBA Premier League this season. Three Premier, three Premier League penalties, and our bunch of and Robert Sanchez are giving it away. Not good enough. And see, a lot of the times in recent times, our bunch of and Robert Sanchez has come under a lot of backlash. Now, Nipa Bibri, I can say. He is not good enough. But I think that people are looking at just one metric. And I'm not saying say, he's an excellent short stopper and I say Chelsea should not get a better of him. If Chelsea gets a better of him, I think that it's good. In fact, Chelsea should work on getting somebody that's better. If it is Philippe Jorgensen, they should give Jorgensen a chance. But the American is here. So who shared the game against Arsenal for one? Chelsea needed a goalkeeper that could be more dominant in the box in terms of cross claiming. It was something that not kept out with Zabalaga any of the best at. Say goalkeeper bit me PA, your box cross me PA, I'll be e born. There was a free kick that Arsenal had in a house space on the left, right hand side. Almost pinnable on the bottom. Chelsea needed the goalkeeper to be brave and come out and then punch it out. And that's the job of Robert Sanchez. I think that these things he does well. And the short stopping ability is very good. And he, he has won about two or three goalkeeper of the month already. This is the only Premier League. The problem with Robert Sanchez has been his decision making. Like the Curtis Jones ball. He doesn't make a proper decision as to come out fully and then come and claim the ball. Like that one against Avanti for Nelly Holland. The ball goes in there. Holland will take a touch, the ball will go away from you. You don't have to stress it. He goes in there, his GT touches Holland, there's a penalty. And again, that one against Bournemouth as well. So that's something that Chelsea really, really, really need to have to look at it in terms of him. Say, I'm a man of more time. And running here to say, um, Enzo Mareska say, for him, he likes what he's seen with a brand new friend Robert Sanchez because he save percentage, you know, is good. And then, of course, on all Shannon. He seems to be good. Yeah, I can't this is him making Kakra. And he will not want to rush a branch of Philippe Jorgensen into the team straight away. So Obe Peso will to Basel Kakra. He is going to get it right. And then when, unless maybe he's pushed the way. Now we see a lot of the pandits all over there in the UK. All the things that they are seeing. And he said, so what's up? There we are. Um, um, Robert Sanchez, they're born and born in how he wants to go. Or if the Chelsea fans begin to be vociferous and show their anger and their displeasure about the facts that consistently, um, Enzo Maresca, airborne, he's not good enough. Uh, 
maybe that's what will force Enzo Mariska. But as stands now there, Enzo Mariska said that's his goalkeeper and he's going to keep him in the post for him to man the goal post for him is very, very important. Of course, this season, highest rated players in the Premier League since the beginning of 2024. Uh, a friend of Cole Palmer, a part of that list of very, very important players are uh, almost solid. Uh, one of the most successful dribbles in the English Premier League in 2024, Mohamed Kudus. And uh, uh, in terms of the number of successful dribbles are uh, when you uh, uh, Mario Malchio. I say the way Mareska is building the team, they are looking more like a team than just individuals. They are being solid in everything that they are doing. He seems to have gotten the best out of this Chelsea team. The one that we doubted before the season began. This is what a lot of people are saying about Chelsea team and how good they've come. And our branch of friend Enzo Maresca was spoken about all of the other players. Our branch of friend Benoit Belashile. Um, a lot of the other guys that are out there in Cuba have come out to debunk any conversation Chelsea will sell him in January. But still, that news keep on coming. Of course, because the performance is not haven't been good enough for Chelsea Football Club. And then, in the Portuguese national team, our branch FN Renato Vega spoke about the inclusion of our Chelsea team name. And Renato Vega said, I think that's for young people, the more the games, the better. But I think we always have to take into account the health of the players and the focus uh, of the of focus very much. And this also, the quality of the game. For But for young people, the more the games, the better. Which is very important. And he speaks about the fact that being called for the Portuguese national team is a big honor for him. And then, of course, there's nothing above that. I have the badge on my chest and Chelsea's too. Of course, things since I've been here for Renato Vega about Chelsea, he has been very, very clear of his love for the club. And almost every time there, he shows it to everybody. So, no, dear, or the club, you know, the club is very, very important to him. And he wants to do everything possible to get success at our Chelsea Football Club because that's what he wants to do over there. Uh, my only somebody also asked me about Victor Jokeresh, what I think about him. My only problem with Victor Jokeresh is eh, the scalability of the performances now. I mean, is a sample size big enough? Is a sample size enough? Because I've seen a lot of players also come out of Portugal. Uh, they had a lot, um, they had a lot of potential. They look like world beaters, time no more Portugal. No? But when they came out of Portugal, they haven't really hit the ground running. I mean, the likes of Jao Felix you know, have been notable examples. They could be said that when you hear the same. I mean, you can be good over there, but when you come outside of that place, uh, the sample size is not so good. I mean, you look at the Champions League games, not so much like that over there. So it begs a lot of questions as to if Abrantia, um, your friend of Victor Jokeres, can really be the man when he goes out of Portugal to be the guy that leads the charge. Oh, wow, they're not so good news for Chelsea. And he said, this season, um, we need a lot of the games away than they have won at home. It, Chelsea would have to improve on um, home form uh, as the season goes on it's very very important as a chelsea ever improve it on a home form as the season goes on barca for any very 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 good news and it is a branch here your friend ronald araho and a area 10 and then or you're back onto the training um ground or start to your running in a crack crack ronald araho barca for already which will be to say inigo martinez and inigo has been very very important to fc barcelona this season but of course, there is experience in Ronald Arau. Barca would want the depth. That was a centre back area because a Paul Kubasini in Igor. But sometimes um, Eric Garcia to me so ever be shaped a crap in certain parts of the season. But then again, you would want to have a Barca team that consistently um, is able to perform and there is enough depth. Senebias will be proud. You can go and call on to somebody to come in and come and play. In terms of performance this season, Inigo Martinez has the best ground dual winning rate in La Liga this season, 70.6%. Of the La Liga, 30 contested plus no more contested 30 grand goals and more. Inigo Martinez or the best rate of winning grand goals. He is excellent in that regard. And then you give him all of that regard. But of course, I branch friend Ronald Arau every turn to Basatini yet. So I branch your friend Lamin Yamal every turn for the game again. Chota de Vigo right after international break now. On start is straight up. But yet it is a branch friend. Um, Lamin Yamal will start off from the bench. Frankie De Jong, Ronald Kuman said he won't straight up go in and start, but he will manage him. That he will be very, very good in, of course. Uh, Mark Casado, Momo, course, French national, I mean, Spanish national team, they didn't come up about the kind of player that they would love to see over there. Also, on the he looks like Kobe to say Sergio Busquets, and then he wants to play just like a branch of friend Sergio Busquets because Busquets is a very, very important player for him. He believes that he can be the next Sergio Busquets. For team, um, your friend of uh, uh, FC Barcelona, um, over and of course, a little bit of an update also from 
Barca end, you know, and now I'm a catcher of Vinicius Jr. wasn't able to score. He missed the penalty. But in Tony Cruz is speaking. The meaning of Real Madrid will always remain the same for me. It's a long, successful and loving period with the year. I will always be close to Real. There is no question I will always defend Real. I'll always be on Real's side. That's never changing. Um, the relationship is simply too close for that. You see, I will not rule out working at Real Madrid at some point in time. I always defend Real Madrid. And I'm a Madrista. Oh, hold on. Yet, says a Carl Ancelotti, if you're married, that the replacement for him, you know, and be a coach, are your friend, you know, Jabi Alonso, obviously a legend of the club, and a Juma on the buy all for Oliver Cousin. I am in Europe, you know, seem to be very, very important, and definitely they'll be looking at him. They will not want to just pick on a branch of friend of Jabi Alonso, but still, also the young boy called Florian Vritz, and see somebody, a team, are your friend, or the other will also be looking at to come in the military. Militao tore his ACO for the second time. Rodrigo, Chimeni, Lucas also joined. Carvajal, Juan Martinez, Cotua, Alaba all suffered ACL injuries. 17 players have been injured this season. Some more than once already this season. Antonio Pintos has become a divisive figure behind the scenes and some of his approaches being considered to be old-fashioned as stands. Now, then Antonio Pintos, Yana married for the beyond Antonio Pinto, some of my age, man, no more me, you may have fit in on the show, be a and on the sign of my name, but all of a sudden, now there your remedy players have continued to play despite discomfort. This was the case with Shumeni, who had a long standing foot injury before the new ankle injury. Same with Jude Bellingham and his shoulder injury last season, but then they want to do better. Antonio Pinto's over there for Real Madrid, no, and then Madrid will be a lot of questions. Of course, there isn't too much, and then there's a Ghana game, and then you'll be see, but we'll be back. Also, I'm going to channel for the post-match analysis. So then, take care. Bye-bye.